Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. I'm a homeschool mom of four boys, ages 10 to 19. Today I want to talk to you about homeschool conventions. I am a mama of four boys, been homeschooling for almost 14 years, and I want to share with you my experience with homeschool conventions including the one, Lord willing, that I will be going to next month. I'm hoping to come back and be able to share with you um, all that I learned, my experience, and hopefully maybe some things that I bring back. So if you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button and um, you'll be notified about those upcoming videos. Um, I am homeschooling this year, my fourth grader, ninth grader, and my senior. Um, my oldest is actually finishing up an associate's degree. So I am excited about the homeschool convention. I'm in a different stage, but that's okay. I am looking forward to it. I'm going with a friend this time. Should you go to a convention? What do you even do at a convention? Or is it really worth going to? First of all, I wanna say, if you are in a stage of life in a season that you can go, I would definitely say yes. I did not go until my oldest was in sixth grade. And I had an opportunity a few years earlier, I can't remember the details, but I didn't go. And you know, that was okay because when I went the first time, my husband was able to go with me and it was such a blessing for both of us. I, he was just going because he was supportive of me. He really didn't know. He knew it was some time that we could be away from the kids. Grandparents were able to watch our boys that year. But after it was all over with, he was like, that was really good. We should do it again. That was a blessing to this mama's heart. <laughs> so I feel like we both walked away with a few things. First of all, we learned a lot about each other um, he was able to see where I was coming from. You know, he's at work every day. He knows I'm homeschooling, but he doesn't know what that's involved. He's hearing other parents, moms and dads, talking about this experience. So he's really was able to grasp what a little bit more about what it was. And that encouraged him, that encouraged me. Now, another thing was walking into it for me was this was my first time, is that I was not alone. All these other parents were there for the same reason. Um, that was exciting. I heard a lot of needed things that I needed to hear to be encouraged. Um, encouraged to finish off the year, encouraged to start the next school year. And at that time, I did have a struggling learner. And you sort of, I don't know if you're like me, but I am a little bit, sometimes can be an introvert when it comes to things like that. So it wasn't something I, I talked about. And this was years ago, and I feel like I want to share with you. So there was definitely some sessions that the Lord had planned for me, and it was such a help. Um, I did some videos on a struggling writer and um, a learner, and also one that has ADHD. So all those kind of sessions were available, and you realize you're not alone in this journey and there is help and there is encouragement. And I learned so many things just from that first convention that I went that I was able to bring home and apply to our homeschool and be helpful to him and encourage him. So that was a blessing and it also opened my husband's eyes to what was going on at the house. Just wanna encourage you with that. Now, what if your husband's not able to come? Should you still go? Definitely because it still would have benefited me so much to hear all that, to be able to go. Um, maybe you could go with some friends that could help with the cost if you need to stay the night. Um, maybe it's just a trip that you could take for a day, depends on where it's at. Lots of different things you can think about. Now, is there a season that maybe you should wait? Personally, for me, I'm just saying for me, if I had just a couple little ones, and they had to go with me, um, I would not be able to focus. It's a lot of people. I mean, even the um, curriculum hall with all the books, I mean, it was overwhelming to me. But maybe 
that is your thing and you can juggle it all and you can think clearly, <laughs> then I think you would be fine. Um, but even if we went and my husband went with me, I would still feel like I was sort of in a rush because I always have that feeling of like, I hate to leave him too long with the kids, even though he does not mind and he does a great job with them. He is such a blessing because he is patient in that way, but I still feel that. So there would have been a little bit, um, I don't want to say anxiety, but it would have been a little bit more stressful. So I just want to tell you that if that's what you struggle with, it is okay to wait a little bit longer. Like I said, I didn't go. I had a sixth grader, a fourth grader, a first grader, and a, a little guy. So they were a little bit older, but it was God's timing and it worked out beautifully. We were able to, we have been able to go a few more times. We did not go every year and that's okay. Um, we always probably usually have something else going on. So I want to encourage you with those words um, about if you can go. Also, the nice thing too was being able to hold and look at the curriculum. You can only look at it so much online. And there were some things that I'm going to show you what I do to decide. <laughs> some things I wanted to look at and um, had in my mind that I wanted to use and I walked away without them because once I opened them and looked through them, I thought, no, this is not what I want to use. So I am thankful for that opportunity. Now, a lot of times you could actually borrow from a friend. And like I said, it may not be a season you could go, but you may have other opportunities to do, maybe borrow a curriculum, look through it. I wanted to share those things with you. I am excited that I get to go this year. So I do want to turn the camera around and show you some things that I do before the planning, before you go, because when you get there, um, they will have all the sessions. They will have the curriculum hall, which I can't even describe how big that is. And um, we get the emails that give you a little heads up on the sessions. They could change. They give you an idea of what curriculum will be there, which is five, six, seven pages. And it's not all curriculum. Some of them are colleges. Some of them are um, just different companies. Like I know sometimes I've been there and there's like a company that has more like puzzles and electronic things, um, science things that are more of like the science packages that you would buy to go with the curriculum. So it is a variety of things, but I'll show you what I do to help me weed out what I need to go in and focus on. I got the website and they had something where I could um, look at all the sessions. Um, it starts Thursday and it gives me each time and each session and I went ahead and printed that off. So prayerfully you have a printer uh, because that is sort of what I do. And then I am not really sure if I'm going to be able to go Thursday night, but I know I'm going Friday. So that is the day I'm really looking at. And I'm just going to go through and um, pencil in. I try to just do one, but there might be two or three sessions each hour, and I will have to decide um, which session I want to go to. Um, I'm not sure what to expect. I know the very first time we went, if we did not make it to a session, we could order the recording. Now they have so much new stuff. Now you could have, you could sign up with them and be a part of them all year and have access to all of that and past and present. Um, I don't know if I want to pay that cost, um, but I know there might be some sessions, like there was even some for dads. And I thought, well, if I can get a CD, but I don't know that yet, that I would go ahead and get it because he would listen to it on the way to work or something. Um, so, because he's not going to be able to come this year. And let me mention, if your husband is not, and he's more than willing for you to go, like I said, um, maybe just to get the recordings, if there's some good ones that you want him to listen to, maybe you listen to one and you want him to hear that one, and just say, honey, these were such a blessing, um, maybe you could listen to them. Or, I didn't get a chance to listen to these, these were more for the husband, but I thought if you wanted to. So... Um, that might be a thought. So I go through, um, like I have different ones marked. And some of these people I have not heard speak. 
and some, well, especially in person. I know I have heard um, some of these speakers, like even Sonia Schaefer will be there, which is with Simply Charlotte Mason. Um, but I don't think I've ever heard her in person. And even I've been to a convention at least three times, maybe more. So I can't remember. Um, but I do love the Charlotte Mason method. So um, I've studied it out a lot and do appreciate it. So, and that's pretty much what I do. I just have little marks. Unfortunately, I probably have two on each hour. And I also want to make it to the hall. So you have to decide... I think during the lunch hours, there is like an hour and a half, maybe that's just, there is no sessions, but usually that's not enough for me, and I have to <laughs> miss a couple sessions, a couple hours of a session to go through there. It is, is quite overwhelming, so that's why if you can go more than one day, it is definitely worth it. Now, also, they do... And I want to mention this right here is all the exhibitors. Um, they have another place where they have all the exhibitors. And you know what? I printed that off. But what I usually do, and I will show you right here, like say I did not know what Apologia was. I could click it. Well, I could click it. I'll probably open it in a new tab. Let's see. Did it give me a new tab? Yes, Apologia. Um, yes, view website. And then I could sort of look at it a little bit more and decide, is this even something I'm looking for? Um, and what books, what would I want to ask about when I was there? And then on my print off, I would make little notes next to that. Be sure to stop here and ask to look at this book. So, that is usually how I do it because um, one, two, three, four, five and a half pages. Um, just, I mean, a list of exhibitors. So that is usually what I do because I really need to decide on if that's necessary. So let's see, which one am I not familiar with? I would say, um, let's see who I have marked on here. Um, Appian Media. Now, I have not heard of them. Let's open that in another length. I have way too many things open right now. And they do have a website, so I could view that website and go through here and decide what this is about. Um, and whether I want to look at it or not. It actually looks sort of interesting. I have teenagers, so, I mean, they're into the media stuff. So, I don't know. I might look at this site a little bit more. And sometimes I'll have several sites open trying to decide and make notes of what I want. So, I'm going to do a little bit of that right now and see what I find and see what... Sometimes it helps me actually decide, oh, I don't need to see that. Or... I might think of something else I need to look at. So let me look at that stuff. Okay, from the list of exhibitors, I have penciled some that I, I'm just not familiar with. So I am going through and looking at their website and deciding, do I even want to stop at that booth? Is that something I would be interested in? Now, I didn't mark all of them. I was not familiar with just the ones that looked interesting to me. Also, I will go through and pencil even the ones that I am familiar with and would like to look at something just so I have that list and I can be reminded. Okay, I have quite a bit more I'm probably going to just at least glance at and see if it's something I want to stop by the booth and look at. Um, like this one is Historical Conquest and it looks like more of a game. But I might want to check it out because my 10-year-old loves history and loves games and game boards. Um, and I am only in the H's. So if there is something that you're very curious about, let me know. I cannot make any promises. But if I can, if I see a booth or um, know something about it already and I could just let you know in the messages, um, 
let me know and I will try to either find out or let you know what I may already know. I hope this video was somewhat helpful, somewhat encouraging, and if you can't go this year, it's okay. Just pray about it. You know, the Lord always provides. Like, even before I went, I felt like He showed me the curriculum I needed to use and He's always provided a way for it. He's provided encouragement from other moms. And if that's what you have right now, just thank the Lord for that. But if you can go, I really do encourage it. It is a blessing. And I know you would walk away with something that you were glad that you went. And we will talk later. Um, I have mentioned in another video, I have a lot coming up. I've got two graduating this May and I got a homeschool convention I want to go to. So hopefully I can share a little bit of all that with you. If you are not on my Instagram, please join me. I do try to post a few extra things, extra pictures, um, just little tidbits that might be going on or some encouragement. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you.